Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of M. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you just to join me today here as we get into whatever this is called, the Dark Cave. We have the Sun Jewel right there, or whatever that is, the Light Gem or something, it's basically the same thing. And uh, we're gonna get in here, destroy whatever terrible thing is in here. Oh boy, it's gonna be a dragon. Oh, beautiful what things that happen to us. <sighs> yeah. It's gonna be a dragon. It's gonna be a dragon, and we need to sleep very, very much. Very, very, very much. Because we have spent all of our buffs and all that last episode against terrible creatures that attacked us. I think it was last episode. Um, and uh, I, I can see, I can see through your things. I can three, is three. I can see through your shenanigans game. That's a dragon up there. That is not a dragon, but it might as well be. That's a, dra a, a thing of a dragon. It's gonna be a dragon. What? Yeah. Adelon. Oh. Oh. Welcome. Welcome to my lair. I have watched your progress with great interest. I must be a grand sight if I interest the eyes of a silver dragon. Your ego swells undeservedly, she says. Interest does not mark approval or support. Do not presume to be in my good grace, Marcus. I am as tolerant as others of my kind. I am Adelon, the Guardian, and I have done my duty as well as I have been able for many centuries. I was not the first, but I know the history. And you are truly a magnificent sight, my lady. I am awed, says Emoen. Yes, yes, of course, but I have little time for your starry-eyed fawning. Listen well to what I say. My charge is the elven ruins above, an ancient temple that marks the gateway to the Underdark. There are others elsewhere, but this was the first. This, the first what? The temple marks where the elves of Dark Hearts first descended, truly separating from elven kind and becoming drow. The drow keep the, out, the outpost of Usnatha here as a symbol, and one that is fought over regularly, though I have governed the hostilities and seen peace for decades at a time. But there has been a crime here recently, and I can no longer honor my commitment. I will ask your assistance, and in return, I will aid you. Hmm. And if I... No, speak on. I will listen and see what I can do. Silence! I... I will tell you when you may speak. This is a very important matter, and I will not be interrupted. Of course, my, la uh, my lady Adelon. Marcus, do be quiet. That was Jahira. Okay. The drow respected the borders of this place for centuries, only venturing out for sport and small skirmishes. That was the balance. The two you seek, this Bodhi and John Irenicus, I believe they have made a deal with the drow for their own safe passage and offered a way to tip the scales against their elven enemy. Oh, it is, it is unfortunate that they did not offend you in some way. We might have been spared the headache of this journey if they had to face uh, to face if they had to face an angry silver. You may ask why I do not extend my influence, says Adelon. I cannot. Irenicus bargained with my most prized possession. He violated my lair and stole from me. They have taken my eggs. Hmm. I assume they threatened to destroy them uh, should you venture out? I have been informed that to move from my lair is to cause the destruction of my eggs. It is the final straw in a long list of atrocities I have been witness to. Oh, to stave off your wrath, says Ardalis. They have provoked it beyond imagining. These are impressive risks they are willing to take. You must retrieve them for me, says Adolon. Do this, and I will reveal a safe escape route to leave the Underdark, one that emerges close to where Irenicus plots his next move. In addition to placing you near your target... I will also make a gift of an item from my horde. It will be powerful and worthy of your service. And then after that, can I kill you? Because I, you, you have a horde, so I'm gonna want that. Um. Hmm. I wonder what it is that you think I can do. You asked me to face an entire drow city. I realize the danger of the request, says Adalon, but I do not ask you to simply assault the place. No, there is as much more. There is a much, much more subtle way to succeed. You will take the identity of a group of drow I dispatched recently, a party from another city destined for Ust Ustnatha. To become such a hated thing, says Jahira, I do not look forward to that. I will transform you, says Adalon, and you will be able to pass among the drow with ease. They will not see through the fiction I create. When you arrive at the gate, 
Tell them you are from the city of Shed Nasad and that you seek sanctuary with Ust Natha. Okay. So it's Chef, basically, Chef Nasad. Should be okay to, to remember that it's not Chef. Um, and. Hmm. I question the logic of this. I do not know the ways of the drow as well as I should. Improvise. They are in the turmoil of a war at the moment and will overlook much. They will not turn away extra hands. You will not be discovered by any other means than your own mistakes, so be careful not to make them. Okay, let the casting begin then. Yes, let it be done. It is done. You now resemble the denizens of the Drow City, complete with a house insignia that will not draw undue attention. I suggest you act like Drow when speaking to anyone you meet. Yeah. You will also have knowledge of the language of the Drow, says Adelon, and your speech will be heard as though you have spoken their dark tongue all your life. The illusion will last as long as it, need, it, as it needs to. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah I, I didn't skip anything. The illusion will last as long as it needs to. Trying to leave the city, though, uh, the city through their main gate to the surface will dispel the magic. You will be on your own against the impossible odds. I'm sorry, but I must protect my interests. The only safe escape is through my influence once my eggs are recovered. Well, and I, hopefully I will be able to kill her. I really want to kill her. Mostly, we have a thing for... Actually, we have a... It's a quest that we have for... We need a, her scales. But I want to kill her because I have never done that. And uh, Marcus, he's a special kind of guy. So he... Well, some people think he is evil. I don't think he's evil. He, I think he's neutral. Chaotic neutral. So, yeah. He just do, does whatever. And she is pretty arrogant. And uh, I he doesn't like that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, as long as you honor the deal, I will be content. I thank you, says Adalon. Remember, you are from the city of Chad Nassad. Take a draw name as well. Use Veldrin. It is commonly used. Okay. Then I'm apparently the John Smith of, of the drow. Sounds good. Let's bring you Minsk. Point, I punch. I think this battle here, especially if we have her uh, as an ally, I think this battle is going to be relatively easy. But then again, what do I know? Because I have never killed her. Uh, and uh, I... Yeah, I never killed her. Even when I played with evil characters, I don't do that. Why? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out. It's gonna be a you terrible battle. Gather your party I know. I know. Forth. Just gather the party. Gather your party there it is. Forth. And then from here, we are going up there to Ustnatha, which is, of course, the city of the Drow. And, uh, yeah, we pursued a Drow last time around, and he just fled. He was really, really fast. And he just disappeared on the fr uh, fr at the front of these gates. The gates open. Do not question the matron mothers. Who is there? You are drow, but there are no scheduled patrols this day. Identify yourselves. Intruders without cause will be killed where they stand. Speak your purpose. Uh, let's see. Mm hmm. Hmm. Chet Nassad, that's the one. Veldrin. Uh, yeah. Let's see. It's this one. I am Veldrin from the city of Chet Nassad. My apologies, I merely follow my duty in questioning. You are welcome to pass, Veldrin of Chad Nassad. There would be normally uh, there would normally be an extensive questioning of you, but we were expecting your group from Chad Nassad. Your late arrival has delayed the plans of Solofin. Enter quickly and be sure that you seek Solofin's counsel. He of the Male Fighter Society will instruct you on your conduct within Ustnatha. Be aware that your welcome is conditional, and that if you fail to meet with him or fail him in any other way, you will be hunted for sport by all that care to join in. The Male Fighter Society is in the north end of the city, past the Female Fighter Society, and just before the Spider Pit. Okay, well, sounds like an interesting place. <clears throat> this, I, I still recall how this is... Okay, we're dispelling things, don't worry, it's all fine. I still recall how this looks. Yeah, it's basically a bunch of... Yeah, yeah. This is the Drow City. Huh. It's been a while. It's been a long, long while. It doesn't say anything down here. So we got Geeth Yankee captains over here. That's the valuable merchandise, you fool. Be careful. Please, master, I haven't eaten in a week. No more of your idea no idiocy. Our stay had best be a short one. <laughs> Shut up, Jahira. No more of your idiocy. You've outlived any usefulness. And he just attacks the guy. And the is going down. Most likely, because he's not even hitting the guy. 
And down he goes. Can I get the loot? No? Okay. Well, whatever. Let's have a chat. What is going on here, Lethal? Says that guy. The slave never listens, and I'm tired of it. What does he... What is he gonna say? I'm sorry, my mistress. The slave got out of hand and was punished. Understand this, fool. You are easier to replace than a trained slave. Oh, it's a priestess. But mistress, please! No! I have other sons. Idiot. Where shall I find a slave now? <laughs> and she said that twice as well. Okay, well, he's dead, so I'm gonna get his treasure. She didn't even take his gold. We gotta draw over here, see what he has to say. To walk apart from house and queens, to walk into the grave. Do you wish to see the magic I have acquired? I have uh, many a magical device fashioned by draw hand, as well as some taken from lesser races that did not deserve them. Yeah, I shall see what you have. Okay, so we can sell over here, which is an interesting thing, an interesting turn of events, because I really wasn't expecting to be able to get traders right off the bat, but he does buy a bunch of stuff. Let's see how much that gains me. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, not too much, but that's, you know, that, that was the treasure that we got, I think, from the mastermind of the Illithids. That, that really should pay more. That really should, I mean, it's the mastermind of the Illithids, in the Underdark, no less. But oh well, what can a guy say? What can a guy say? Let's see what he has, actually, because I, I, I wasn't paying attention. So... Uh, actually, wait a minute, let me just sell uh, that draw with that crossbow right there. Okay, so he sells enchanted weapon. Oh, does he sell freedom? Because I think I need that. Caco fiend as well. Hmm. Um, he doesn't sell fe feeble. Well, fetal. He doesn't sell freedom. Uh, so I'm going to go with enchanted weapon. Maybe this spell is cast in a, in, on a creature. It enchants any weapons that it currently wields for the duration of the spell. These weapons are treated as having plus three enchantments. For the purposes of determining what they can hit. So that's interesting, but not really late game stuff. It's actually a le low level game, low level spell. It is actually very nice. But uh, not for us. We have all plus three. I think all of our weapons are just probably one or two are, are, um, are plus one. Spell turning over here is important. The Caco Fiend uh, might come in handy later on. It's, it's a pretty tricky because this thing it then attacks you uh, anyone under the effect of a protection from evil spell or scroll will not be targeted by the fiend um, because he goes on a rampage attack everything inside it's yeah you need protection from from evil uh, incendiary cloud what does that do any of the area spell must leave the cloud immediately or suffer 1d4 it's a level 8 but 1d4 points at fire damage per level or per level of the caster so it's yeah so it's basically like 18d4 it's a d4 so that's a fantastic spell that is really really powerful uh, and the Ruby Ray of Reversal. Uh, this spell affected... So, when this spell is cast, it dispels one spell protection of any level affected by the, affecting the target creature. Just one, though, of any level. Actually, that's fantastic. I, I will take that as well. Uh, okay, we're low on money. Uh, that's That was really good. Let's see what she needs. I'm gonna go with the cheap stuff for her. She doesn't need that. Protection from cold. She doesn't need that. Spell thrust. Not really. Detect illusion. Might... Uh, and hold on, Dad. Does that have a saving throw? Yes, it does. So it doesn't really matter. We have a priest anyway, so it doesn't matter. Enchanted weapon. She has that. Mm, go for that. Might as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, just one right there. Teleport field. What is that one? Uh, I don't use that too often. The spider spawn. Eh, I'm gonna get it nonetheless. The rest of the stuff. Spell sequencer. That'd be a nice one. I'm gonna get her that. And that is that. Um, which means that I have the spell sequencer. Okay, buy that. Okay, and actually, let me check. How do I have the spell sequencer? And I don't have it memorized. I have the limited wish. I need to see... Uh, let's let's cast the limited wish. Let's see what that is all about. Because um, I, I I think I summoned a genie. I think, I think so, but let's see what happens. Let's see what choices we're given. Hey, man. <laughs> I am the channel through which you sh your wish shall be fulfilled. You may ask for a wish I can repeat, or you may ask for a wish that it will happen only once. Decide. Hmm. Okay, let's go for a repeatable wish. Choose then, but be aware that unwise wishes shall, shall leave the wisher wanting. I wish for my entire party to be healed. Hmm, that's an interesting one. This is a one-time one, isn't it? Yeah, a repeatable wish, actually. Uh, I wish that... Oh, that can happen. Oh, I see. I see. It can only happen one time because I can cast it. Okay, I don't want to. Don't want to wish right now because I want to. I want. To, shut up. I, I want uh, a one-time one. I want to see what those are all about. I think one of them is for money. 
I, I think there's only three of them, but I, I might be mistaken. Uh, so a one-time wish. Let's see. I don't want. A, uh, I don't want a wish of any kind. Of, no, no, no. I want to be rich. I want to be a powerful. I want to wish for a powerful magical item. That's an interesting one. I wish to be more experienced. Hmm. Hmm. I wish to see all as it really is. These are pretty simple. Let's go. Control over time is the one that we're only gonna use once, and I know where it is, where it's gonna be used. It's gonna be against Fear Crag. We need to go there, and uh, we're gonna kill the guy. Actually, you might be able to kill him without e this this thing, but you can guess this after uh, before the battle, and it's, it, he's, he goes down easy. Um, I wish to be anything I desire. That's probably more if I would say. I wish to be prepared for anything, and I wish that all that my enemies will die. <laughs> That's that works. I'm gonna wish that on the last battle. So yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna. Yeah, uh, the spell sequencer is going to be the other spell. This one is uh, I'm going to keep. Uh, so, I wish a powerful magical item. Then you shall have it. I gained an item. A full plate mail plus two. That's kind of powerful. It's actually not as good as the, the ones we have, but then again, it's not, it's, it's not a great item. So, let's... Uh, you really mm. need to clean me. I, I, I need to, I want to cast that though. <laughs> I want to cast that I that that thing, but I uh, Okay, let's cast it. Let's cast it. I'll get the armor. I wonder if it's randomized. If it, I hope it's not randomized. But uh yeah, I want the armor. I hope it's not randomized cuz otherwise I'm cheating. One time wish. I want a uh, powerful magical item and I gained an item. It is not randomized. Fantastic. Okay, so we have two full plate males and one of them goes over there. Actually, she has something armor of the heart. So Oh, yeah, this is for him. Okay, so this is for him. Uh, get that one right there, and let's learn these. I'm going to learn them off camera. No need to do that right now. Let's continue exploring. I actually wanted to talk to these guys. Uh, Githyanki Captain. Having no interest in your tongue conversation, have I, drawling? Stepping away from my ship, will you be? Before skinning you alive, am I? Yeah, you have a ship? A ship? Yes, you do. Look at this. What the hell? You guys have flying ships down here? I don't, I don't even. I just don't even. Anyway, let's see what this is. Some money. That's okay. We have drows all over. I wonder if they're all merchants or something. Uh, uh, hmm. To walk apart from house and creed yep. is to walk into the grave. Welcome to my store, brother. You will find my blades true and sharp. None are better. But remember well that I will not replace anything once it has been exposed to the surface world. The Dementine, weapons, and armor decay are once outside of Lord's dark embrace. Yeah, that's their god, I think. Um... So, is there nothing that can stop such decay? No, and of course we would wish it no other way. It would be a great insult for those of another race to carry draw weapons. Uh, doesn't that make extended forays to the surface difficult? The draw do not make extended forays to the surface. There's nothing above that we need. We will occasionally raid for specific reasons. You should know this. Yeah, of course. Now, let me see what you have. Um, okay, so I will sell... That will sell that armor that I just bought. I'm actually running quite low on money. I think I could make some money out of uh, maybe potions or something. Let's see what he has. Anything plus three or plus two at the very least. Uh, ammo, actually, ammo plus three would be fantastic. I got plus two. No need for that. Restoration. Oh, man, they have they have a lot of good spells in here. Sp Staff of the Earth or Staff of Earth. Struck Earth Elementals must save versus spell. Always, oh, it's another one like the other one. That we have, and a full plate mail plus one, and I got a shadow door, and uh, uh, animate dead would be nice to have her for her. Actually, what I need is a fireball, but this guy doesn't have fireballs. People don't sell fireballs anymore. What happened to the world? Oh, we got a shield over here. Sentinel plus four. It might be good. Um, she doesn't. She she could use this. Don't steal. Just buy. And the cloud kill right there. Do I need any of this? Not really. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what this shield is all about. Plus five armor class. Sounds like a awesome shield. Is this better? It's a drow shield though. It's not better. Hmm. Got hiccups as well. Look at that. Look at that. So good. It gives me hiccups. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna buy that because that shield is fantastic, and she doesn't need to use that crappy, crappy shield of hers. Actually, she can't buy that. Oh, he sells more stuff. Fire. To oh, I didn't see this. Holy crap. Okay. I am gonna buy. What the hell is the shield? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there is. Um, there was something over there that I failed to notice. The fire, yeah, the fire tooth. 
Uh, oh, but this is a throwable weapon. I think. Returns to the wielder's hand when thrown. It's not. I'm gonna buy that as well. If I have the money. And I do. Okay. Can, can I, can I put that somewhere? There it is. Okay, so this is really great. Unfortunately, I'm running out of money. <laughs> oh, boy. She can use that. There it is. Much better. Actually, that might be good for... For you. And she uses this one. Right there. And you put that over there. Uh, as for... What did I buy? The fire tooth. Yeah, this is good for him. Because it's a fantastic weapon. So it basically means that he's gonna be throwing that. Rather than attacking the web... Uh, attacking... Uh, attacking with melee. Uh, this is a plus three one. With extra fire damage. Holy crap, this thing is amazing. This thing is really, really good. Oh, it's a good thing I bought that. I could also sell these. But I don't need the money right now, so it doesn't matter. Let's just see what else these guys have. Do and uh, we need to go north. Enter and welcome to my store. I offer potions of drow design as well as the work of the finest enslaved alchemists. What have you need of, brother? Uh, let's see what you have. Uh, so I want the potions. Potions are nice. I suppose there's some... Oh, uh, Kal Kalgun's Amulet of Magic Resistance. 10% Magic Resistance. Rod of Smiting. It's a... What is that? What, oh, it's a quarter staff. Plus 3. Plus 10 versus golems. That's pretty good. Plus 10. Damage, not, not hit chance. That's uh, pretty good. I would like it to be to hit chance. What is that? Can I talk to this? What the hell? You must close... Yeah, I, I must be close to the creature. Oh, it's a fish. It's like a fish. A loathsome fish-like creature floats within the tank. Long leathery tentacles grow from its head, and the smell of rancid grease hangs from the tank. For the moment, the creature is motionless as if sleeping. Okay, so I can't do anything there. It's a very nice place, as you can definitely tell. It, the art style does remind me of the elves in, uh, in Arcanum. The elven city, I don't remember the name of the city, but... We got trolls in here, we got gnolls, we got an umber hulk over there, and we got a drow. To walk apart from house and queens, to I... walk into the grave. Oh, that's right. They have an interesting way of referring to uh, men in... It's like male and female. That's an interesting way. I greet you, male, in the name of the Spider Queen and all the glory that is Ust Natha, the first city. Would you care to take a look at the wares I have available? Um, what do you have? Mm, I still have a strong knoll captured leading a group of its fellows and the surface... Uh, on the surface, tortured and then sold to me, but it is healthy. 500 gold pieces for that one. Let's see, I still have one of the regenerating trolls left. A party patrol captured it not far from the city, stupid beast, but strong. 750 gold pieces for that one, if you wish it. Mm, I have a spirit troll, I do not know much about it. A warrior sold it to me two months ago. Difficult to feed, but it certainly is powerful. A thousand gold pieces. And yes, I have one of the Umber Hulks left still. The sisters love those ones. Difficult to kill, I understand. I charged 1,500 gold pieces for that one. Okay, well, I don't think I need anything. As you wish, Mail. Another time, perhaps. Yes, I will see you later. I don't need to free these guys, so that's the, that would really be the only reason for me to, uh, to actually care to buy them. We got spiders around. Pet spiders, it would seem. And a guy called Dola, or something. The destiny of the drow is to conquer all. Remember, no fatal damage. We do not want to set him free. Destroy this form and free me, damn you. Yeah, to free it. They're just training. I'm through training. I'm merely amused. Let my spirit return to my home plane. Yeah, and they're just having fun with this guy. So, I think he's gonna have to endure that a little while longer. Is he taking... Yeah, he's being healed constantly. It's an interesting thing. I'll take that. I'll take that as well. Can I talk to them? Can I talk to him, more importantly? Probably not. Oh, I can. Do not torment me with your words, Drow. You have no intent of releasing my spirit from this physical prison, I know. Okay, well, whatever. See you later, dude. Have fun. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the heal spells feel nice. You know, okay, it can offset the feel bad with the feel good, I suppose. We got a draw, Drow warrior over there, and let's see where we are. This is a tavern. An Aboleth tank. Hmm. Okay, that was the bazaar. That's why there was so so many traders. Oh man, is this a tavern? It doesn't look now very. I remember why traveling with you was always so much fun. Because of the drought taverns? Are you crazy? Are you crazy, Moen? Shut up. You know nothing. Medinid. Do not question the matron mothers. 
Greetings to you, O oh potent male. Stay. Oh, are, is it showing through the pants or something? Stay for a time, uh, if you wish. The group of us here are sharing exploits and tales of the past, something I doubt you, Nasadrand, have time for. <laughs> I have a tale for you, if you're interested. Somehow, something my house mother once told me. In fact, if you're of a mind, that is. Uh, sure, I'd like to hear it. Excellent! <laughs> my tale, my tale begins long ago, when our people first descended into the great depths of the dark caverns. During a day when our homes were not carved out of stone and clay, drow homes were made of twigs and black grasses, grass that made many had, uh, that many had brought with them into the Underdark. There were few homes, of course, but the largest belonged to the first matriarch. The matriarch le led the early hordes of drow, helping them survive in hostile lands. She was powerful, potent, and cunning. A great boon to her people, who admired her greatly. To honor her, a group of Dao of drow set upon the shark fiends and stole the stone, the, stole the stone throne of their king, to secretly present to the matriarch as a trophy. They stowed it in the uh, in the grass rafters of her hall. The matriarch arrived in her hall, and the drow warriors went to retrieve the throne. But much to their horror, its weight caused it to fall through the grass rafters and crush the matriarch below. It is a sad, sad tale of our early travails in this dark place, and it holds a moral as well. Can you think of the moral, Mel? Bunos, do not stow thrones in grass houses! Yes, yes, that's it exactly! Imbecile, says Tathlin, I don't even know who this guy is. How dare you tell such a moronic lie about the history of our people? Lolf will sentence you to an eternity of poisoned agony for such madness. Ah, the Spider Queen has no sense of humor. Now, Veyron... On the other... Now, Varon, on the other hand... You dare? I shall kill you in the name of the mother of all drow, fool! He is mine! No one interfere! Okay. I won't interfere. Can I fall back a little bit? Just to not interfere a little bit better? I want to interfere... To not interfere... Properly. Okay, that was a critical miss. And he gets stabbed in the face for 5 piercing damage. Uh, but Meredith uh, just takes more 5 12 damage. That was not good. And he misses a stab. And he gets 7 damage to the face. And that was a stab for five. He's the guy's doing it, but he's still he's still nine points of damage away. And take ten, well, nineteen points away. Well, down to fifteen. Oh, okay, up to twenty-six. And I can't, well, he dead. He dead. Let's see what I what he had. A flail plus one. Well, that's better than nothing, right there. So can you talk to me now, Tathleen? Can I know what that was all about? Walk apart from house and queens to walk into the grave. The blasphemous fool. Now I must go explain this death to the handmaidens. Ugh, a foul worshipper of Varon here. Varon. Hmm. Okay. Must remember that I shouldn't w worship that guy, apparently, or that god of Varon or whatever, because apparently people will kill you for that. Let's talk about religious freedom, freedom, huh? I mean, you wouldn't expect that here in the... in Well, in the, with the drow, I suppose. It's quite not a problem at all in the uh, surface-dwelling... Cities, but here apparently they are quite mad at Veyron for some reason. Okay, well, with that, I think it's time to end the episode because we're out of time. So I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Amn. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.